Welcome back to Booze and Rocks. My name is David Edwards, and today I'm gonna use this knife to butcher this orange to make the wife catcher. But first, this. All right, so let's get into this. Today we're making another subscriber cocktail. And this is perfect timing because a subscriber of ours, Dan, sent me a care package which I received yesterday. And in it is of course a big bottle of Malibu because he saw I couldn't get one. This is perfect timing because now I can use it in this cocktail. He also sent me a few other things and we'll use those uh, up over the next up upcoming videos. But Dan, thank you very much. And if you wanna send anything to the channel for us to use to help support us, please drop me a line and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So this subscriber cocktail was sent to us by Tim Kirkland. Now Tim Kirkland did send us another one called the Neutral Zone, which we did a few weeks ago. And I'll put a link down in the description down below just so that you can see that one. And it's a really good cocktail. This is a simple, easy cocktail that I get to make in the glass. So I really don't have to clean anything afterwards, which is actually even better for me. It's still hot out and it sounds like it's gonna be tasty. Let's find out. So the first thing we need, of course, is a whole bunch of ice in here. That looks pretty good. And of course, importantly enough, we need Malibu rum. We need two ounces or 60 milliliters of this wonderful stuff. Now, if you know of another coconut rum that you think would be really good for us to try out, leave that down in the comments down below, please. We also need one ounce of a light rum. Now, I don't have any white rum, so what I am using here is a uh, plantation rum. Uh, this will do for that. And I like the flavors and the taste, and it'll give me an interesting uh, funkiness. We need one ounce or 30 milliliters. We also need two ounces of orange juice. Now, two ounces of orange juice, of course, works out to 30 milliliters. I mean, 60 milliliters. Now, the other thing, of course, I need is some pineapple juice. Yes, and we need two ounces or 60 milliliters of that. It's looking really good. So the last thing we need to do, actually there's two things we need to do. What we're gonna do is we're now gonna stir this for a good five seconds. Look at that, beautiful. But we're not done. We need a little bit of Grand Marnier. Now Grand Marnier is an orange liqueur. Um, very much, you could use a different type of uh, orange liqueur, you could use orange curacao, you could use uh, triple sec or contro if you wanted. However, what we're going to do is we're going to float one ounce or 30 milliliters on top. And that'll give us a little bit of a nice orange taste. I'm gonna do that by of course, flipping my spoon over, bringing it to the edge. And of course, I'm gonna just kind of spread that around a little bit because my orange curacao it didn't spread out nicely the way I wanted it to. However, I can turn the glass so you can see how it looks. But I do need to garnish this with an orange slice. Thank you. So one orange slice, and what I'll do is I'll cut and I'll use half a slice, but we're also gonna use, going to use, I gotta stop saying gonna, a maraschino cherry as well. So here I am, I'm gonna use an Amarana cherry. These are uh, awesome candy cherries and they still have the stems attached. What we're going to do is we're just gonna jab the pin right through the top, like so. And we're gonna totally destroy my orange garnish here. I need a thicker slice. Apparently, David has issues. Let's do this right, shall we? Which is good because that'll give the orange, uh, um, the Grand Marinier, a chance to spread through nicely. And here we go. 
That is a nice looking cocktail, even if I butchered everything in the process of doing this. Tim, I'm sorry about that. Now, Tim calls this the wife catcher, but what he didn't tell me is if this is going to magically just give me a wife or whether it'll give me the powers to go out and find a wife or do I hand this to a lady I think I want to be my wife? You know what, Tim? Let's try it out. You're gonna have to leave a comment on that one. Oh, that is really good. That is really good. You get the orange carousel, not the orange carousel. I keep calling that. The Grand Marnier on top is quite nice. You get the pineapple, the orange, you get the coconut rum. Mm, mm. Ooh, this is really good there, Tim. And you know what's even better? The cherry. Guys, who doesn't like a good cherry? Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put the ingredients and the method of how to make this down in the description down below. If you think I should use a different type of uh, rum, definitely leave a comment about that, or even a different type of orange liqueur. But if this is your first time to my channel, please uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time I place a new video up, you will be notified. And if you don't like an excellent, excellent rum cocktail, hit the thumbs down button twice. And we'll see you next time. And today I'm gonna to use this knife to butcher this orange to make this. Now, a while ago I asked everybody if they would like, uh, um, um, today is another cop, <laughs> subscriber cocktail. <laughs>